हेलो एंड वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल श्रीदेवी क्लासेस वेयर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन टुडे इन आवर प्लेलिस्ट इंडक्शन मोटर विल स्टडी फिनोमिन ऑफ कॉगिंग इन इंडक्शन मोटर एंड वी विल लर्न द वेरियस कॉजेज ऑफ कॉगिंग एंड द प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद कॉगिंग एंड ऑल्सो डिस्कस द वेरियस सोल्यूशन टू अवॉइड कॉगिंग इन इंडक्शन मोटर लेट्स स्टार्ट इफ इन एन इंडक्शन मोटर नंबर ऑफ स्टेटर स्लोट एंड नंबर ऑफ रोटर स्लोट हैव सम शॉर्ट ऑफ सिमिलरिटी and winding in stator and design of stator core and rotor core is badly planned then such induction motor may refuse to start even when we have applied full rated voltage to its stator winding and this phenomena where a motor refuses to start even with full applied rated voltage is known as cogging of induction motor in fact cogging is some sort of magnetic locking between stator slot and teeth with rotor slot and teeth and stator and rotor teeth teeth facing each other form a magnetic lock and motor due to that magnetic locking refuse to start and this phenomena condition is called as cogging and have severe damaging consequence cogging or magnetic locking in an induction motor can take place when the number of stator slots and number of rotor slots are equal or their number got a whole number ratio to our multiple of each other then there is a possibility of magnetic locking or cogging in an induction motor now in cogging condition when slot of stator and slot of rotor face each other then the teeth portion of stator and rotor align themselves and at reduced air gap position between stator and rotor the reluctance get reduced and unequal flux distribution will take place in air gap and flux will concentrate in teeth position and it become diluted in slot position and this concentration of flux in lowest reluctance condition produce a magnetic alignment of teeth of stator and rotor and produce a magnetic locking or cogging during cogging or magnetic locking the teeth of stator and teeth of rotor face each other and with lowest air gap distance between stator and rotor the reluctance of magnetic flux become minimum and as per stability requirement flux will attain path of lowest reluctance and will concentrate along t2 teeth, teeth position between stator and rotor as shown in this diagram and in this locked condition if rotor try to rotate in either clockwise or anti clockwise direction the stator teeth will remain as it is and if rotor teeth try to shift it will increase reluctance to flux flow path and that is against stability so just to maintain stability the flux or force lines will produce a locking tendency and oppose the movement of rotor and due to this the teeth and slot of rotor get locked with teeth and slot of stator with a strong alignment force between teeth of stator and rotor now these upper directed and lower directed attractive force between stator and rotor teeth produce a strong locking alignment torque and if motor try to produce driving torque in rotor in a tangential direction then this tangential driving force get over powered by axial alignment locking torque and as a result the rotation of motor rotor is stopped and this locked behavior of induction motor is called as cogging due to improper design of stator winding and bed selection of stator and rotor slots will produce non sinusoidal mmf distribution in air gap space between stator and rotor and in that non sinusoidal mmf distribution we would have higher harmonic frequency components and if those higher harmonic frequency component of mmf distribution coincide with slot numbers then they will produce magnetic teeth locking between stator and rotor and that cause cogging problem in induction motor usually we design stator winding with proper care and decide stator slots and rotor slot number in such a way that such teeth locking due to space harmonics in mmf air gap distribution won't take place if in an induction motor number of stator slot and number of rotor slot are identical or the stator winding is not properly designed then in that case a short of magnetic locking or cogging will take 
take place in an induction motor and in that condition the rotor of induction motor refuse to start even when stator winding is given full rated voltage supply and in that case the locked rotor with slip 1 behave as a short circuited secondary winding of transformer and in this blocked rotor condition induction motor would have maximum induced emf in rotor winding and that circulate high amount of current in its short circuited winding and that high rotor current also get reflected in stator winding current and both stator and rotor due to enormous high current which is 6 to 8 times full load current conditions produce tremendous heating and since there is no rotation there is also no air circulation or heat dissipation so temperature quickly rise to dangerous positions and if such cogging condition exist for even a minute and our over current protection won't safeguard motor by disconnection of supply the motor may overheat and its winding insulation may get damaged since operation of induction motor in cogging condition is very dangerous and will damage winding insulation by overheating so we must devise some methods to overcome cogging and one the best method is the number of stator slots and number of rotor slots should not be equal or the ratio of two stator and rotor slot numbers should not be an integer number so there should not be identical number of stator slots and rotor slots or there should not be any multiplicity between the two numbers if we select number of stator slot and number of rotor slots in a proper manner so that the two numbers are prime to each other they won't have any common factor between the two then in that case cogging can be easily overcome and such motor will start smoothly without any trouble selection of prime numbers of stator slots and rotor slot is one good way to avoid cogging in an induction motor now another good way to remove problem of cogging is to arrange rotor lamination stack in such a way or arrangement of rotor laminations are made in such a way that rotor slots are squid or have got an angle with respect to our axis of rotation or the axis of stator slot so when a rotor slot is squid made a little bit angled and if angle amount is equal to one slot pitch of stator then in that case the air gap mmf distribution become more sinusoidal it will reduce not only problem of cogging will also remove problem of crawling in which motor will start rotation with one seventh of normal speed so squeeing of rotor slots will remove both problem of crawling and cogging and also when air gap mmf distribution become more sinusoidal space harmonics in mmf distribution get reduced then the operation of motor will produce less amount of mechanical vibration and noise so squeeing of rotor slots produce solution to the problem of cogging crawling noise and vibration all together when rotor core is squared and square case winding is made then it will increase length of conductor in winding and that increased length will also increase rotor resistance and if we have a rotor of higher resistance per phase then that will increase the starting torque and this is an improvement in starting performance but the squeeing also increase the problem of leakage flux and increase leakage reactance of rotor now increased leakage reactance help in reduction of starting current but increased leakage reactance reduce operating power factor to poor lagging conditions and also reduce the maximum torque capability of motor but since cogging is a serious trouble in our motor operation and squeeing can avoid that problem so normally all square case induction motor have squeed rotor design where rotor slot is angled with respect to stator slot another design methodology used to avoid cogging also reduce the problem of crawling and this is proper selection of stator slots in winding design so as to have integer number of slots per pole per phase suppose i have to make a four pole three phase machines then number of slots must be an integer multiple of 12 that is 24 36 48 and if we take slot per pole per phase either four or five using higher number of slots then 
then it will produce more distribution of winding and a good distributed winding reduce harmonics in space mmf distribution and pure sinusoidal mmf distribution not only avoid problem of groveling it also improve starting performance and remove the problem of cogging if an induction motor is not properly designed and got adverse combination of stator number of slots and rotor number of slots then that can cause space harmonics in air gap mmf distribution so it is required that we should select proper number of stator slots and proper number of rotor slots so as to have proper uniform sinusoidal air gap mmf distribution without increase and decrease of flux in a regular manner as increase and decrease of flux waves in air gap space hooks or cusps not only produce problem of groveling will also contribute in problem of cogging and it is very important that we should avoid such adverse combination of stator slot number and rotor slot number and always select appropriate proper numbering in stator and rotor slots to get solution of all such problems of groveling as well as cogging to avoid cogging in an induction motor number of stator slot should not be equal to number of rotor slots and neither to have a proper integer ratio we can obtain better results if number of rotor slots and number of stator slots got a difference of 15 to 30% of each other and either rotor slots or stator slots may be higher in number the difference of two slot number in stator and rotor should not be equal to 1 that means stator should not have one slot more than rotor number of slots or one slot less than number of rotor slots similarly this difference of stator and rotor slot should not be two equal to number of poles or two times of number of poles or pole plus one or number of pole plus two that means if one has to design four pole machine then in that case the difference of stator slot and rotor slot should not be one two four that is equal to pole number or eight two times of pole number or five pole number plus one or six pole number plus two that means for four pole machine the difference between stator and rotor slot number must be either 3 7 9 or 10 similarly if one has to design six pole machine then the difference of stator and rotor number of slots should not be 1 2 6 12 7 or 8 and it can be or number of stator slot and rotor slot difference can be 3 or 4 or 9 or 10 so if we select proper difference of stator and rotor slot numbers then we can avoid problem of cogging very well if an induction motor is good designed with high starting torque then it will not experience problem of cogging and smoothly accelerate and attain stable operating positions even with commercial power supplies of electronic nature as variable frequency drives produce quasi sinusoidal wave with pulse width modulation techniques so whatsoever applied frequency or voltage level a motor with good starting torque capabilities accelerate without cogging problem but definitely if an induction motor is started with reduced voltage starter then there is a bit more risk of cogging as reduced voltage reduce amount of starting torque and if there is a design problem in machine then cogging may overpower starting torque and will start even when electric supply is given to motor now one good thing is that cogging is not observed in slipping induction motors as in these slipping type of induction motor when we place extra resistance in rotor circuit then that extra resistance increase starting torque to such an extent that cogging will not create any problem in starting of induction motor and such slipping induction motors will accelerate without cogging so slipping induction motor doesn't require squeeing in rotor slots or angled rotor core positioning we hope this powerful informative learning video has explained each and every aspect of cogging in induction motor and now you understand various causes of cogging the problem of cogging and the possible solutions available in design to avoid cogging in induction motor our other videos of the same playlist will help you to understand induction motor and videos of other playlist improve your electrical engineering if you found our study material useful do share it with your friends and if you are interested in learning notes and online classes do join membership of shridevi classes youtube channel thank you very much